Hey guys, Troy Francis in London coming at you with another video. Women are attracted to men that they cannot control, okay? Women are attracted to men they cannot control. Now, there is a blue pill belief that if you want to ingratiate yourself with a woman, if you want to make her fall in love with you, then what you need to do is basically everything that she wants you to do, okay? That's the... That's the assumption, you know, you've got to, she asks you to go and clean the car, you go and clean the car, she asks you to put some shelves up for her, you put the shelves up, she asks you to do X, Y, Z, and you do those things. And that's gonna make her like you. Now that makes sense on some level because generally speaking, as, as men, we are very logical for the most part. I mean, I'm not, but generally speaking, we are. And um, generally speaking, We are pragmatic in the sense that we understand that, okay, right, if I do something for you, then in reciprocity, you're gonna reciprocate that and you're gonna probably do something for me. You're gonna give me something positive in return. Okay, so the assumption is basically, I scratch her back and she will metaphorically scratch mine, okay? Unfortunately, unfortunately, nothing could be further from the truth. And this is a mistake that dudes will frequently make when they are, you know, getting into relationships with, with women because they'll they'll have this, uh, uh, listen, I mean, some people who followed this channel for a while, they're gonna be aware of these dynamics, okay? And I'm pre preaching the converted, but the truth of the matter is, there's a hell of a lot of the unconverted out there as well because as, as many as, as many people are who are familiar with this sort of material, there are, damn, there are millions and mil billions who aren't, okay? Um, and they are operating, as Rolex Massey would say, by the old set of books. They basically think, well, I'll do something, I'll be very, very nice to her, and she's gonna, she's gonna give, give that back to me. You know, she's gonna reward me with um, intimacy, with sex, and she's gonna re reward me with, you know, affection in the relationship. And unfortunately, those things aren't true, because what women really seem to respond to is men that they can't control, men who, aren't gonna play by the party line. Men who aren't going to simply fall into her frame that easily, okay? Um, so you need to bear this dynamic in mind. And the reason is, and I think if there's one major theme of, of this channel, it probably is this. All human beings are somewhat attracted to those things that we can't quite get. All right, all of us are somewhat attracted to the things that we can't get. If something comes to us too easily, we tend not to value it, which is exactly why when we, for example, do courses, we sell courses, <clears throat> people are like, oh my God, you're a grifter, you're a grifter, you're selling courses on the internet. When we sell courses, which are packed with value and are actually incredibly transformative for the people that take them, um, we will sometimes do things for free, or we will sometimes do things uh, that are very inexpensive, okay, to help people out. And inevitably, invariably, what seems to happen is that when we do these courses for free, or we give a, you know, give a book away for free, or, you know, we give all information away free uh, via email, get on my email list, by the way, link below. Um, you know, people may consume that content, and they may like it, but they don't tend to action it because there's no, they don't have skin in the game. Okay, they don't have skin in the game. They haven't um, put their money where their mouth is. And, and, and when you actually hand over, hand over money for something, um, in other words, when it's somewhat harder to get because you've got to actually had, had some monetary you know, funds over in order to obtain it, then people tend to take it more seriously, okay? So the principle, it's analogous, I, I, th I think, if you understand my logic here, it's, it's, it's similar. Um, if it's something that you can just get very easily because you don't have to pay for it, people tend not to take it very seriously. If it's something that you have to pay for, and therefore it's harder to obtain because you've got to stump up some money, then people tend to take that more seriously. They tend to want it more, ironically, um, and they tend to value it more. So you've got to be, you've got to be harder to get, okay? And that may sound toxic, it may sound, you know, like an unpleasant sort of thing to say, but it's just the reality of human nature. And this, by the way, works the other way around. This works with women as well. Um, I've dated women in the past who have been, you know, I mean, God, they must have been mental, but incredibly keen 
to spend time with me and wanting to monopolize all of my time and wanting to hang around with me the whole time and blah, blah, blah. And um, that's always been, to be frank, a little bit unattractive. I've also dated women um, who have been much more coquettish, let's say, you know, much more standoffish. They've sort of, you know, kept their distance. They've sort of kept it very cool and they've kept back a little bit. And those tend to be the ones, counterintuitively, that you fall madly in love with because then it's like, oh my God, you know, Janice, she won't return my calls. She hasn't texted me back for two days. What does it mean? Oh my God. Whereas if she's too available and she's like messaging you every five minutes, you're just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Shut up. You know, um, it is what it is. Okay. Um, now women tend to be better at this stuff than men for some reason. I mean, women tend to be the master seducers, whereas men are the the hopeless chumps for, for you know for the most part. So we can we really can actually look to women and what women do in order to learn what we should be doing. And what you want to do really is think back to those women that you've really fallen for in the past and, and just think, you know, what, what was it, what did she do? What was it that she did? I mean, okay, she may be beautiful, it, that may, is no doubt, contributed a lot to it, but what was it that she actually did? How did she operate? How did she conduct herself in the relationship so that you fell that deeply into, into it? You got that into her, okay? You want to really like, uh, try and analyze it and break it down. And I bet you, I bet you, that in many cases, it's gonna be the fact that she was standoffish, that she wasn't easy to get, okay? You know, we've got this expression, playing hard to get, right? It's there for a reason, okay? Why does that expression exist? Well, because, it, because it, frankly, it works. So, you have to get out of your head this idea that, right, I'm just gonna be this super agreeable dude. I'm just gonna go along with any kind of scheme that she comes up with. Okay, and this even comes down to things like, you know, if she, say you suggest a date, and then she comes back and she says, no, no, I think we should do, I think we should go to the, uh, I think we should go to the ice cream parlor instead, and you'd say, you guys should go for drinks. Really? You know, if you're staying in your frame, you should be saying, no, no, listen, I know a very cool bar. I'm gonna take you. You've got to experience this place. Maybe next time we can do ice cream, okay? Really, you wanna be um, holding your frame, even in, with little things like that. Because if you just bend to her will every single time, what's that really saying to, about, to, to her about you as a guy? What's that really communicating? I mean, it's, it's kind of communicating, well, he's just gonna roll over and just accept whatever I say. He's probably a little bit desperate. He probably doesn't get much attention. You know, I'm maybe his only option, okay? All of these things, you know, a female hindbrain is suddenly not seeming very, very sexy. It's suddenly not seeming very attractive. So think about it, basically. Don't be a pushover. Don't be too easy to get. And um, don't get run over. And you will find yourself in a much better position as far as dating is concerned. Harsh truth, gentlemen, but this is just the way it is, okay? We have to play the game as it is, not as we would like it to be. And, and, and listen, as I say, I mean, this isn't a gendered thing. It's not like um, women are acting in some hugely different way. In fact, women are actually very, very good at this. Uh, and men tend to be very bad at it for some reason. As, as I said before, I mean, men are the true romantics and we tend to mess this stuff up, whereas women are actually very good and very uh, strategic about these things. Anyway, with that being said, please do subscribe to the channel. The link is below. Hit the notifications bell. Uh, get on my free daily email list if you haven't already. Link is below. And if you want to talk to me about your dating situation, how you can improve it, there is a link below. You can book a free call with me and we can discuss a plan to get you where you need to be for 2024. See you again very soon. Bye-bye.